Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is going to be a quick version and this is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining. Please subscribe to the channel and share this channel with your community. Like I said earlier, this is going to be a quick version. So if you prefer the full length, non time lapsed version, check out my Patreon page and my Paint with Lovejoy website. If you want to further support Paint with Lovejoy, please do. It all helps. And for more in-depth courses, check out paintwithlovejoy.com. And as always, share this with All right, your guys, community. another fun painting. So grab your supplies, transfer your traceable to your surface, and as always, make sure you take your progress photos. Now this version is going to be the quick time-lapsed version. If you would like the full length version, please check out my Patreon page or my Paint with Lovejoy website. So once you have your traceable transferred, um, we are going to be filling in the background and we are going to be going over the lines and I am using student grade paint. So I'm still able to see the lines that I'm going to cover up through the paint. Um, so just kind of make sure that you can see yours as you're covering them up for when we do the outline later. And we're doing various shades of blue throughout this whole area and we're filling in all that space around the human figure. So we are um, going over the circle and the square outline. And my cat loves watching the blank surface transform into a painting. Um, and she's been making her appearance in a few videos, uh, checking out the progress. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, as you're doing this, like I said, you can do any color that you want for this background. I'm using shades of blue, which is about an equal parts blue and white. And then I'll be adding some darker blue and some white directly on there. But again, feel free to make this any color that might match your house or something that you want to do. The original would probably be uh, like a sepia tone. So you would use white and raw sienna and maybe a touch of yellow to warm it up if you want to go more for um, the original. And just Google that on uh, your phone or on your computer and you'll have plenty of pictures that come up. Just type in the da, da Vinci, the man. All right, and I am kind of using the same brush throughout the whole process, but don't feel like you have to stick with the exact same brush. If you need to move down to the small pointy one to get into those little grooves and those tiny little spaces, feel free to switch out your brushes. And here in a moment, I'll be putting some darker blue on there. And just again, filling up the space. I am painting on watercolor paper, so that's why the blue tape is around it. But you can do this on canvas panel, um, stretched canvas, or even a canvas pad. So here we go, adding a little bit of that darker blue in there, and then we'll do the same thing with some white. You're doing a great job. If you're one of my beginner painters, remember to breathe. It does not help to actually hold your breath while you're painting. So remember to just check in with yourself and relax. This is not the end of the world. This is something fun to do and just hang out and pass the time and have something creative to show for at the end. All right, so get your background to where you want. Pause the video, take a progress photo, let this fully dry. And then we're gonna be putting in the skin tone color for our figure here. And you have full permission to make this whatever skin tone color you would like. I'm using kind of a light tan, so that it's white with a little bit of raw sienna. And I'm filling in the whole space. Then we're gonna move to the raw sienna and put in what we call some shadows. Now, if you do wanna do different skin tones, you can do white with a little bit of red. You can do um, add more of that direct raw sienna for a darker tan. You can even start introducing raw sienna and burnt sienna, or even moving with the raw sienna and black to get to the shade that you want. And it doesn't even have to be a skin tone color that's on earth. If you want a blue man or blue human, uh, humanoid or green or purple, feel free to switch this out to whatever you want. Um, if you want to make your human figure uh, multicolored, go right ahead and do that. All right, so here we're actually grabbing a bit darker of our color, a little bit more of that raw sienna, and just placing this in a few key areas where there would be a shadow. So feel free to pause the video as much as you want. You do not have to go as fast as this time-lapsed version. And if you want, um, you can even pause the video, take a screenshot, and then you can zoom in closer. And I want you to just observe the place where I've, I placed these darker colors 
and then mimic that to the best of your ability on your canvas. And we're just going in with light pressure with that darker color and just kind of squishing it into the base color on there. This is called wet on wet blending. All right, doing a great job. Another place to pause the video, take a progress photo. Now we're going to be doing our black outlines and I will be using a small pointy brush for this and I want you to kind of play with the pressure of your brush. Light pressure creates a smaller line, a little bit more pressure is going to create a wider line. If you find that you're shaky as you go to do this, that means you're holding your breath. So exhale as you touch the brush to the canvas and that will make your process a little bit easier. Also, feel free to rotate the canvas because it might be easier to make a line in a certain direction um, and you don't have to keep the canvas in the same position. I keep it in the same position for the video just because I'm recording the video. But again, if you need to turn your canvas sideways or upside down, go right ahead and do that. You will be noticing that sometimes I add a little bit of water to my paint that helps make it a little bit more fluid. So feel free to give that a try. Keep in mind, you never want your brush dripping wet with water. And we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be outlining our human, our figure on here. Again, using that light pressure. If you happen to have varying widths of line on your painting, embrace that. That's just where you're at for today. You could paint this again in a year from now and a couple months from now. And if you do keep painting in the meantime, you will see your skills improve and these lines will be easier um, the next time that you paint them because you get more comfortable with your tools and your supplies and the painting process. So in the creative world, it is never ever about perfection, but it is about progress, doing a little bit better than maybe the last time you painted. And try not to compare yourself to other people. They have their own process, you have your own process, and you guys each have your own things that you're learning and going through. So again, enjoy the progress, not seeking perfection. Just have fun. Again, take note of how often I reload that brush. You might be starting to get into a groove, but if you don't keep going back and grabbing more paint, you're not actually applying anything to the canvas. All right, doing a great job. Feel free to add anything else that you would like. I will actually be adding a hairline um, and then filling that in with raw sienna, uh, keeping it a little closer to uh, the original from Da Vinci. And I forgot a little line right there, so go back and add anything that you might want. Um, we're gonna take that raw sienna and fill in the hair. And then I'll be actually be grabbing um, some white and raw sienna and the few places where my background kind of overlapped, I'm just putting a second layer of the skin color on there just to kind of cover up the blue that's underneath. So feel free to make any adjustments that you need for yours, clean anything up, um, clean up your black lines or go back over them again if you need to. And then here I'm grabbing some white and just putting a few highlights on the figure. So again, pause the video, notice where those white spots are going and then just mimic that on your painting. But great job today, you guys. Really glad you took time out of your day to get creative. Please don't wait too long to do the next one. And until then, cheers.